Yeah, thank you, Randy. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we're excited like every other college basketball program in the country. It's um, it's a fun time of year. Um, it, it's obviously different for me this time of year as compared to last year where I was walking in, taking over a program, and, and, and trying to build something for the future. And then now we're at a different place this year where I have some returning guys and some guys who understand how we want to do things. And obviously um, we're more optimistic this year than we were last year. Thank you very much, Coach. Our first questions come from Josh Perry. Josh, please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Josh. Could, could, uh, could you please tell us your um, feelings and thoughts on, on, on coming into a – a new league and just just the situation that you guys are facing and, and maybe what you might know uh, about the league and maybe, you know, just expectations for you guys? Well, you know, we're unfamiliar, and, 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 that's, and that's fair for this time and us coming into the league with most of the opponents. And the only common opponent we had last year was Georgia State, and which was a non-conference game, and App State, which um, is coming with us, and they were in the previous conference with us. So we tried to study, my staff and I, the, the league this summer a little bit without getting too far in detail, but just more so looking at schemes and styles and if there's anything that we had to put in or work on in the preseason to be able to get ready for the league. And you know, by no means do we know it, but watching the league, uh, the league's very athletic. Um, they get down the floor. Everybody plays at a faster pace with the exception of about one or two teams. And, it, you know, it seems like the team, all the teams are all bigger, stronger, maybe compared to, compared to the Southern Conference where uh, there's some transfers, some junior college kids, and some guys that, that are just more, um, more developed because they've been in college longer. So a uh, big challenge. Um, we, we know it's a higher level of basketball, a, a very good league, and we know we've got our work cut out for us. You have, uh, fortunately, you, you do have uh, Jelani and, and Trent uh, coming with you guys into the league. Uh, we, we know they received some preseason uh, uh, accolades from the league. Can you tell us a little bit, please, just what it is that they both do well and what do what you feel like they're going to add uh, for your program this year? Well, you know, Jelani Hewitt did everything I asked of him last year, and he had to try to score the ball and give us a chance on the offensive end and score in different ways. And he also let us in assists. And uh, putting the ball in his hands, he makes good decisions, and I trust him. And then moving forward this year, you know, he might handle more of the ball, the ball handling responsibilities. He might be asked to make more plays for other guys. And it's going to be hard for him to duplicate what he did scoring last year. But I think production-wise, he's going to be even better than last year. He's had a great offseason, um, very intelligent player, loves the game, and, um, you know, has had a – uh, the first part of practice has shown tremendous leadership with our younger guys. And Trent, uh, we didn't have an advantage with Trent. The fact that when I was the interim coach at College of Charleston, I coached Trent as a head coach, but also was there for his recruiting in his first couple of years. So even though Trent is kind of jumping in the mix now, I know what he's like in games. He knows what I'm like. We have a very good relationship, and um, he, he gives me – someone on the floor who um, who can deliver my message when I'm not there beside him. So a uh, very good leader, intelligent player. And, uh, and with those two and also our other group of seniors, uh, not only am I expecting production like every other coach, but also leadership of bringing the young guys along. Coach, uh, of the newcomers that you have, you have a good number of them. Have any of the newcomers at this point stepped forward uh, you mentioned kind of earning the trust with with Hewitt already doing that with you. Have any of those newcomers kind of already shown you that they're going to be able to maybe play a, a, a pretty vital role this year? Yeah, we brought in a huge class. And, and with that, sometimes, you know, unfortunately, you'll make a mistake or two. And and I feel like we didn't do that. I mean, every one of the newcomers, whether they're going to be good for us this year or down the road, I, I'm excited about coaching them, um, you know, from from here on out. But a couple of guys who, you know, kind of stepped forward, um, you know, Devontae Boykins is a point guard who's very intelligent, strong. Um, you know, he's going to be right there in the mix to make an impact and play. Uh, Mike Hughes is a combo guard who um, I'm very excited about, um, athletic, and, and another guy who, you know, he's picked up things quickly. His intelligence is beyond his years. And, um, 
you know, Jake Alt Miller from um, from Nashville, Tennessee, has, has shot the ball well, and also has shown toughness and ability to guard, which I was excited about. And then also, you know, Coy Simmons is big and strong uh, inside, and we need some presence in there. So um, those are right now, but at the same time, we're still early in the process, a couple more weeks to go in exhibition and scrimmages. So I don't like to box guys in. I like to see who's going to keep getting better, and then by the time we get to see them, who continues to get better throughout there. So we might be changing roles throughout the year. Uh, last question, Coach, as far as the roles are concerned, what, what can you add about Eric Ferguson and, and his status for you guys? Because he, he's put up big numbers in the past and, and just didn't know where he was sitting in right now. Yeah, everything is being worked out with Eric, and, you know, some things are out of our hands and we can't control right now. Um, Eric, you know, has been an all-conference player here, um, had to sit out last year with a knee injury. And, you know, once he works through everything, then we'll kind of make a judgment from there um, once everything's finalized. Um, but, you know, he is working out with the team, and we're just kind of seeing where the process finishes. And, and then all, all that's out of my hands. That's, that's up to the athletic director and a couple other positions. But uh, Eric, from everything that I've been around, is a tremendous person, uh, has a very good heart. And, um, you know, we hope he's part of the team. But, but like I said, that's out of our hands. Coach, thank you very much. Uh, appreciate your time. Okay, thank you.